Let's solve some problems related to image formation in converging and diverging lenses. Here is the first problem. A 1 cm high object is placed 40 cm in front of a lens with a focal length of 50 cm. Where is the image located? What is the height of the image? So, the object is placed 40 cm from the lens. And the focal length is 50 cm. So let's first find the image distance. Where will be the image? As you see, the object is between focal point and the lens. The image is going to be a virtual image and it will be at the same side with the object. We expect to find the negative uh, image distance. So our formula is 1 over f equals 1 over the object plus 1 over the image. So from here, 1 over 50 equals 1 over 40 plus 1 over the image. From here, after doing some calculations, we are going to find that the image is going to be equal to negative 200 centimeters. What is the height of the image? Uh, we will use the second formula, height image over height object equals negative d image over d object. So from here, we know that if the height of the object is one centimeter, we will get negative and the other negative is the negative 200 centimeters divided by distance of the object is 40 centimeters. So this is negative and this is negative. After doing some math calculations, we are going to see that the image is, the height of the image is 5 centimeters. This means that the image is upright and it is virtual. Why? Because the image distance is 200 centimeters, negative 200 centimeters, and it is five times bigger than the object. The image is going to be located somewhere here. Let's move to the next example. If an object is played 8 cm from a concave lens with focal length f is equal to 5, uh, 4 cm, what is the image distance and its nature? First of all, this is a concave lens and the object is placed 8 cm from the lens. And the focal length is 4 cm. We are asked to find what is the image distance. Let's use our formula, 1 over f equals 1 over the object plus 1 over the image. Now since, since this is a, a concave lens, the focal length will be negative. Negative 1 over 4 equals 1 over 8 plus 1 over the image. After doing some math, you can do your own math. It will be equal to, the image distance will be equal to negative 8 over 3 centimeters and the image is going to be upright between focal point and the lens because in concave lenses the image wherever the object the image is always between the focal point and the lens and it is always upright and it's a virtual image let's look, let's look at the next example a four centimeter high object is placed in front of a lens the focal length of the lens is negative 10 cm and the image is formed 8 cm from the lens. Find the position of the object and height of the image. So as you see, here is a concave lens or diverging lens. Why? Because the focal length is negative 10 cm is given. This is 10 cm and the height of the object is 4 cm. It is placed in front of the diverging lens. The image is formed 8 cm from the lens. The image is going to be between focal point and the lens always. And it's a virtual image always and it is given as 8 cm. Find the position of the object and height of the image. So our formula 1 over f equals 1 over the object plus 1 over the image. And negative 1 over 10 because this is a diverging lens equals 1 over the object negative 1 over 8. Why negative? Because this is a virtual image and it's between the focal point and the lens. For uh, diverging lenses, the image is always virtual and the image is at the same side of the object. That's why the image, image distance is always negative. After doing some calculations, the object will be equal to 40 centimeters. This distance will be 40 centimeters. To find height of the object, we will use this formula. Height of the image divided by height of the object equals negative d image over the object. 
from here height image divided by height of the object is 4 centimeters equals negative the image is given as 8 centimeter and it's a negative eight, negative distance negative 8 divided by the object is 40 centimeters we found it from here after doing the calculations height image is going to be equal to 0 0.8 centimeters and this shows that the object the image is upright okay next problem the distance between the object and the virtual image formed by uh, a lens is 10 centimeters the size of the image is three times the size of the object find the focal length of the lens and the distance between the object and the lens so uh, here a virtual image is formed by the lens and the distance between the object and the virtual image formed by lens is 10 centimeters so this is 10 centimeters i'm sorry the distance between the object and the image is 10 centimeters the size of the image is three times the size of the object if the size of the object is h this is 3h so find the focal length of the lens and the distance between the object and the lens so we are going to find the object okay let's start with height height image divided by height object equals negative d image over d object we know that height of the image is 3h divided by h is equal to negative what is the distance of the uh, image to the uh, lens so as you see it is 10 plus d object and since this is a virtual image we will take its distance as a negative distance so it will be negative 10 plus the object divide by the object after doing some calculations from these two h and h are going to cancel each other and do some more mathematics we are going to see that the object will be five centimeters since this distance is five centimeters the image will be 10 plus 5 the image will be 15 centimeters but it is negative distance we will write negative 15 centimeters we are asked to find the focal length of the lens for the focal length we are going to write 1 over f is equal to 1 over the object is 5 centimeters plus 1 over the image is negative 15 centimeters after doing some calculations the f is going to be equal to 7.5 centimeters the next example is a real image is formed by a converging lens if you have a converging lens if you put an object somewhere here behind the focal point an inverted image real image will be formed somewhere here if a weak diverging lens is placed between the converging lens and the image where is the new image located if we put a diverging lens somewhere here where will be the new image is it going to move further from the original image or is it going to be closer than the original image or its position will not change let's draw the image position by ray diagrams a parallel light ray will try to move through the focal point but since we have a lens here it will diverge a little bit and it will diverge and it will move like this approximately let's elongate it another light ray <coughs> sorry from the object to the focal point of the converging lens it will move parallel to the principal axis but since we have a diverging lens here this lens is going to diverge it slightly it is a weak diverging lens so the light ray is going to be diverged slightly okay it is not moving parallel to the principal axis but as you see it is diverged slightly so this is the first light ray this is the second light ray both are diverged by the uh, converging lens so the image is going to be uh, formed somewhere here and as you see the image is now further it is further from the original image original image is somewhere here let's try to draw the original image the original image is going to be like this the light ray is going to pass through the focal point and the other light ray 
will reflect reflect from the converging lens and, and it's going to move parallel to the principal axis so here is the original image the original image is going to be formed somewhere here but because of the converging lens because of placing a converging lens here the image is going to be further from the original image okay let's move to the next example a lens placed 10 centimeter in front of an object creates an upright image twice the height of the object the lens is then moved along the optical axis until it creates an inverted image twice the height of the object how far did the lens move okay so a lens is placed 10 centimeter in front of an object the object is 10 centimeter from the lens and it creates an upright image twice the height of the object the height of the object is h and this is 2h and since they are at the same site uh, the image is going to be a virtual image then uh, the lens is then moved along the optical axis until it creates an inverted image twice the height of the object in the second case we move the lens from here to here this is the distance that the lens is moved okay uh, in this case when you move lens to that side uh, initially the object was between the focal point and the lens now it is behind the focal point and as you see an inverted uh, image a real image is created if we draw ray diagrams we are going to see an uh, inverted real image in this case it is again 2h and the height of the image is again h so let's start uh, from the first condition from the first condition height of the image divided by height of the object is going to be equal to negative d image divided by d object we know that height of the image is two times 2h divided by h is positive because it is upright equals negative d image divided by d object from here we can find the relationship between the image and distance of the object as from here it is going to be equal to distance of the image is going to be equal to negative 20 centimeters if we put 10 for the distance of the object okay so from here we can calculate the focal length of the lens 1 over f is going to be equal to 1 over 10 distance of the object is given it is 10 centimeters and plus 1 over negative 20 because the distance of the image is negative 20 centimeters it is at the same side of the object in this case we put it as negative if it is 20 centimeters after doing some calculations f will be equal to 20 centimeters the focal length of the uh, lens is 20 centimeters so now as you see in this case this is the distance that the uh, lens is moved and this is this distance of the object so the new distance of the object to the lens will be equal to 10 plus x so in this case let's write our formulas again let's separate these calculations again height of the image divided by height of the object uh, will be equal to negative d image over the object again we know that in this case this is uh, inverted and its height is 2h i'm going to write negative 2h because it is inverted and height of the object is h it's going to be equal to negative d image over the object so from here the relationship between the d image and the object is going to be equal to 2d0 this means that image is two times uh, away from the lens than the uh, object so let's calculate in this case distance of the object and we are going to calculate x from here we know that the focal length is 20 1 over 20 equals 1 over the object and plus 1 over the image is 2d object and after doing some calculations we are going to see that the object is going to be equal to 30 centimeters if this d object is 30 centimeters so 30 will be equal to 10 plus x from here it turns out that the the lens is moved 20 centimeters okay that's it thank you for